Hi, welcome back to DIY Donna. And I'm Donna, of course. We are going to do a couple of DIYs. Okay, we are going first. I got like little. I got little um, cutting boards from Timu. I did glue two of them together and I did paint it off camera. It's going to be very easy. I am going to, and I started cutting it off camera and then I decided to stop. Which I got these scratch offs from Amazon. And I will link all of that at the bottom of my description box. And where I got everything from. And of course, the Bolac flowers came from Team New. I'm sorry, the Dollar Tree, not Team New. did not come off the tape. Now it's sticking to it. Oh, I think this is ruined. Let me see if I get a down on me and then it came off again. So now we got to hopefully and it don't look like it did. Okay, I think I got it. Now it's stuck to my finger. Okay. Okay, now hopefully it goes out on the board. We're going to lay it down. And the only thing I'm going to just... scraping away and hopefully fingers crossed pulled the strip off. Hey, my F all the way. Let me see if I can get it. There is just something about these trans these scratch offs from Amazon. They have a real strong chemical odor and then you have trouble getting it off. Um, there's what the Farm Fresh looks like so far. And then I chose a pig. And hopefully I don't have problems with this. Hopefully it comes off quite easy.
Okay, no problem with the pig. And then the, I'm just going to center it right in the middle of the board. And look how pretty that is. I just love pigs. And no, I don't have any one day. It's all on you. And I'm just using my scissors to scrape it. Because it normally don't take much for these to get transferred over. And you can easily seal this with Mod Podge or any kind of sealer. And that will protect it. <laughs> Just keep pulling up. There we go. And look how dorky. Isn't that so cute? And then I am going to just put these little flowers like this on it. And then I will put a string in. Very easy and simple. I'm going to put a little hot glue. And center it about right where you want it. And the hot glue does come through this a little bit. That's the string off the flower. And then. Sorry, I got all fly in the frame. It's that time of year where they're out. Okay. There's DIY number one. Okay, for the second DIY, we are going to take one of these tin cans, the fall tin can ones. Thankful and blessed, and we're going to put some hot glue on our, oh, I can't remember what these are called, your wax, not wax, foam board thingies, and then I done recut little ones to go around, because these were, you know, like so. And then I got another piece that I am going to put on the second layer to get my height. And uh, boy, that glue got to the bottom of that. I don't think it didn't melt. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, and I have already cut these, and I am just going to start. Putting them in there. I need some, um, we got other colors. And I'm going to cut some of them. They're all the same kind of flower. I think they're, yeah, mini mums. And I got every color they had in the mini mums. I think they are so beautiful. I love mums. That one's a little bit harder than the rest. And I did start um, pre-cutting them. But as you can tell, this takes the longest. Wow, that just cut them all and went flying. 
I will have to find that piece later. This is a really pretty, like a maroon color of these. And then I got the I think this is like a daisy. I like the color in it. Grayish, bluish color, greenish color, I guess. And then the summer sunflowers. And you got little pumpkins in here and little acorns. And you, I'm sorry for the conversation in the background. I don't know if you all can hear that, but it's two of my daughters. Some of these are very hard and yeah, if I cut this, I'm not going to be able to make it. No, really. See, this is like a wood. Yeah, I... It's already too late. But I really am going to get another one. Just so I can um, keep it whole. So any of you that have not cut up your acorns yet, do not cut them up. Keep them in one piece. Because they're, I mean, you could fix it. And actually you can. Okay, we'll deal with the acorns here in a minute. You can put steers in them. The barbecue steers, you can take these out and it will, well, there. And then you will have your hole and you can just put your steer, stir, steer, whatever they are called, in it and it will give you the height. And then we have I call them cow tails, but on the tag it says cat tails. I'm sorry for all the dogs. Now yeah. Okay, so anyway, sorry for the dogs. Um, That's the new puppy. He's trying to. He must have gotten out of his bed. He's a little one puppy. My daughter's got him spoiled already. So I'm going to put some of these uh, cow tails in here. And I'm just going to start filling it in anywhere and everywhere. The higher ones in the middle, even the little berries. The daisies. I need more yellows. The oranges. And you just want to keep it simple but beautiful at the same time. I got some um, blue leaves here as well. Give it some color and some pumpkin. I'm sorry, I'm dropping my. Um, I 
hot glue gun everywhere. We're going to bring one of these this way because there is none that way. I want so many of these red flowers in here as well. A couple more of the cow tails. I also had pink ones, but I really am going to keep the pink ones for spring, for next year, and um, put those in a flower arrangement. I love flower arrangements. Um, this year, I decided I was going to put it, because I keep the arrangement in my entryway of my front door and I always keep it in a glass vase. Well this year I decided that we were going to want some more blue in this with berries but I decided I was going to try the Tin can look and see how that looks by the front door outside of the glass um, entryway, the glass base. I'm sorry. Because one of my dogs, they do have a bad, bad habit of uh, jumping. I think I need a couple of cow hills like over in here. Give it some uh, color that way. Oh, and here. I think I'm going to wait to do the pumpkin and the acorn so I can um, get my stirs out. And I don't know if I want to go to that mess again of digging that kind of stuff out in my closet. It's right now, that is fortunately where my craft stuff is. It's all buried in the closet. And I got to get it out little bit by little because I am taking care of my stepfather and that takes a lot of room. And uh, so I had to take up my art and craft stuff. But I can still do my DIYs. I get in there, dig out what we have and I put stuff together. You can make it as full as you're liking. Um, you can use the flowers that you like as your flower, as your color. I got added a little of blue into it because that is what color everything is in our home. them acorns look so darling in here and so wasn't the pumpkins but I got to get the sticks out and that's not that easy job but now I'm just going around and seeing if there's any Bare spots, I guess. 
and it burns this it doesn't matter if you already have like a yellow there you could put a different kind of yellow like I'm getting ready to do it's more of a orangey color than it is yellow Okay, so I literally just set and cut up about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just cut up twelve bundles of flowers and I have almost gotten every one of them in this can. So that will tell you pretty much of what you will need to get if you decide to redo this. And I really want this one in here, but... I'm not going to start adding glue, but I think there's enough in there. Yeah, that, that would work. It's got stems. I've got enough going on in here now that, yeah, these little pumpkins go there, here, and there, and they corn here and there. Acorn up here, and we will do another paling over in here. Okay, I think this one is done. Tell me what you all think. nice and full it's just I think it's gorgeous and that is all I am doing to this DIY and I you know just straighten them up a little bit and I think this is going to be very nice in our entryway Maya what do you think he just says, mm-hmm. I'm going to let it talk. Well, honey, you uh, talk any other time, so. Yeah. Okay. Now we are on to DIY number three. <clears throat> you know the cushiony, um, pumpkins that are on the stick at the Dollar Tree. I forgot that I had some, so I'm just going to add a couple here and there. If I can find, there we go. I just want it down into the, it's down in there. I think one and I kind of think we might need to bring down the stick a little bit. And you could actually use your scissors. Just cut around it a little bit. And then it should be enough for you to break. And then you can stick it right back down in there. And it gives you the height that you need. There you go. So I did add a pumpkin to that. And now, this is going to be the third DIY. And I am going to take two of the pumpkin wreaths. And I am going to make a darling centerpiece. 
out of this. So first, what you want to do is put your two frames together. And I'm sure you're guessing by now what it is. Yes, we are making the cage with zip lock ties. And I think, yes, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, but I think I have, well, I did have, and now I misplaced them again, but anyway, sorry. I thought I had tiny, tiny ones from Tina. Okay, so we're going to put a couple out. Wait a minute. Do I have? We're not even going to use the clear ones. I have black ones instead, so that is what we're going to use. Because the frame itself, I think they're green. straighten out when you get down to the bottom it will pull itself together here I do want my cage to stay, so you do want to put quite a few of the sit ties on there, so it can hold its place and don't come undone on you. Once again, you do this the way you would want it for your own home. Just a couple more and then I'll go around and snip off the tails and then we can get started with DIY number three. And I do want to take this time to thank everyone that is watching my video. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you don't mind sharing it out because it will help my channel grow. And subscribe and then hit that bell and you'll get notifications of any videos I upload. And welcome to my channel. We learn together on this channel and I do walkthroughs for the Dollar Tree I might even do a couple here and there from Walmart, Dollar General, or even Family Dollar.
Sorry about that, guys. I am clumsy. Okay, you just very simply use your scissors to cut off the tails. And I just came up with another DIY that I will be doing probably in the next couple of days with a Dollar Tree pumpkin wreath, if I could still find them. We only have one Dollar Tree here in Chillicothe, so if they're out, they're out. And there's not another one I could go to. Unless I drive an hour away from my home. And I'm really not up to doing that right now because of my stepfather. This is what you should have. It is a cage that is shut. And you can put something in there if you would like. Like a and we can glue this in here and push on it to get it to stay. But I kind of want to do something a little bit different. And you gotta make sure the tails are off. Because they will scrape you. Okay, with the help of Jeremiah, I need you to give me all the pumpkins, please. Just the loose ones? Yes. Without the sticks? Um, or just where the sticks do? Hand me them all right now until I find out what I'm gonna do. I thought I had a lot more of these ones. I had some medium squishy ones. Oh, this one uh, a bunch of red on it. And these little ones will fall out. All them flowers, please. There's another set down there. cannot pronounce this. I hope you guys all know these look like silver dollars. Um, that's what I grew up calling them. And I cannot find the scissors now. Okay. 
had. Now we are going to um, Save one for another DIY will be coming out. It is going to be a beautiful centerpiece for your kitchen table or dining room table. Whichever one that you eat at. Um, some people have both. Some people call it one thing or another. Some people only have it in their kitchen. And that's what we have. My kitchen is my dining room. And that's actually where we are at right now recording at my kitchen table. Don't stop me from doing my beautiful crafts. Well, I had a leaf that fell off. Found where it goes. Across the thing there at the bottom. And well, we got one that collar in there. I think I am just gonna lay a blue pumpkin down. You know, I think I'm going to use some um, wool wrap, uh, wire to make sure my flowers stay in place. And this you could get at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. And I'm just putting this wire on it just to make sure that they don't come sliding out when you're cleaning your table or whatever. And I'm just going across and kind of like twisting it a little bit, making it tight. And then you're gonna flip it over because, you know, of course, you may want to do it there as well. And you really do want to make sure that your flowers are going to stay in place. You don't want them sliding all over your, I call it a pumpkin cage your pumpkin gauge or sliding out of the holes. And that way, if you want to reuse your flowers later on or you wanted a different style, next year you can take it all apart. I might take it apart and do a wreath next year. 
spread in the mouth. Making it where you can see all the colors. And this is what. There we go. Push them back up in there. Then you're going to take your pumpkins. And you're going to come back in. And you're going to start placing them as well. And as you can see, I got like three different shades of the blues. <laughs> I just love these blues. I think they are gorgeous. And I think I am going to get a bigger one. And you know, if your pumpkins fall over, let them fall <laughs> over. Um, because it just makes it look... Like it just did, it automatically done that. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. They know I'm recording, but they're still talking loud. Okay, so I think this is all I am going to do to this. I really don't know about adding the smaller pumpkins. I think we will add these ones on this side as well. We're gonna, here we go. And I don't know about adding See, I am missing some stuff because I also got some of the m mushrooms. So I know I'm missing some that. So I'm going to have to go on a hunt in my own home and try to find my items. different kind of corn. I thought I had like a darker color. And I am going to lay one of these in there. Okay, and I decided I am going to make a messy bow. I got the burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. The cute little blue wagons with the pumpkin in them. And then I also got the one with the pretty little onions with the two different color blues. I just thought that was pretty. And I'm putting it down all directions, laying them. And then repeating it. I got them laying everywhere. So we're going to go. Quit dropping my gun. Lay it that one down and then we'll do this one down. And then that way down. Bunch it up. And I did not grab no string. But I got a wire.
Okay, and I decided to put a messy bow, and I wrapped it with wire because, like I said, I wasn't going to make a ribbon. That wasn't my plan anyway. And then I'm just using the wire that is off of it to attach it just anywhere on the frame. And there you go. And then you can set it up like this, up on against something, or you can literally lay it flat. I kind of like it upwards. Let me know your opinion if you like it all the way down or if you like it kind of upwards. Okay, for the last and final DIY, let me just clear some of my mess. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, I was going to do something to this ribbon. Um, Jeremiah, um, I asked him what he thought about adding a pumpkin, and he thought it was cute with one. So we added one. And voila. Sorry, I'm messing with my other camera. I have a new one, and we haven't been able to try to figure out how to quite work it yet. Okay. Oh, my pumpkin's not completely dry yet. Glue is hot. And it burnt me, but I've been burnt worse. Okay. So now I was and I mean, you get add a couple here and there. Um, once again, I want to thank you for watching my video. If you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, share so it helps my channel grow. And sharing is caring as well so share and hit that bell and subscribe to my channel and you'll get notifications of any videos i upload which i am so sorry it has taken me a while to get any diys out there to you most of you that have been following me knows that i am taking care of my stepfather and he is very ill he has been in the hospital a couple of times he just got home two weeks ago and now he is back um so why he is in the hospital to get stronger i am trying to put some videos out there for you all. And I do want to appreciate your guys' patience and your understanding about all of this. And I love you all for that, and thank you. But moving on. Okay, and now for the fourth and final DIY. Um, I'm going to take these two bases and I am trying to, I don't have my heat gun, but I do have these uh, plastic razor blades. It's my first time using it and I got it off of Timu. And um, as you can see, I'm not quite worried about the bottom, I just wanted to try this. And I think it will actually do the job that I need it to do um, when I need it to. So moving on, everybody knows the Dollar Tree has window planes. I did pick up this one. 
and I hope you guys can see that without the glare. And on the back side, you got more. Look at the cute little animals. I just think these are so adorable. And then you got giving give thanks, the pumpkins, the wagons, harvest blessing, pumpkin patch. Flip it over and look at the beautiful pumpkins. So we are going to transplant, transplant, put them on the vases. Um, you don't need a whole lot of these. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one. one of the animal one because I want it for the kids. Um, Mikey really loves foxes and Jeremiah, um, I think he likes squirrels and the bears. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for them. We do have one fox. The only thing we're going to do is take it off and we are going to put it on our glass. And at first, I am going to mess around with it. I'm going to lay him down and see if that's how, I, how it looks, not how I. I want to go. One in the front, one on the side. I think I'm going to take this cute little bear. He's not little. He's a pretty good sized little bear. And that might be all I have enough for is three of them on this, which I'm okay with. And then, I mean, I get, um, I'll do a little pumpkin, or how about a mushroom and the acorn? And then if I got room between another one, I will lay down a pumpkin. But I think these little acorns. And I know I do a vase every season, it seems like, and I do. Um, this is the first one I'm making for fall. So I have a 4th of July set, and now I got a fall one. And I think we're just gonna add a pokey in there, and we're gonna, do a leaf. Okay, um, I don't think, yeah. We'll do another pumpkin right there. Okay, so this is what the first one is going to look like. I think this one is okay. It turned out cute. So then I am going to add a little a Mod Podge, Mod Podge, on it. And that way these will stay. And I'm only putting the Mod Podge on the window queen itself. Um, I'm not putting any underneath, just a little on top, and then I'm gonna let it dry. I got a glue hanging from my nail for a couple hours, and that way it's getting dry. And you don't want a whole lot. 
and you get use the whole brush on one thing that's fine and I'm doing it here No, my brush is literally falling apart on me. Why I am brushing? Where did I get these brushes from? Oh wow, I am not using that brush no more. I can't believe my brush fell apart. I'm like, I know that's not wrinkles in that. And oh my goodness. I can't believe that. And yes, I am using my fingers to get it off. I don't want a bunch of hair on my little animals. I think the only one we got left is the fox. Set this one aside to let it dry. What is it? Duchess Sasha now. Okay, that was out of the first um, one. Now, um, I don't know. I really love that scarecrow. So I think we are going to do the scarecrow out of this one as well. I think the scarecrows are just the cutest little things. Well, they're not little, but okay. So that does fit the base. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too long So, it's just putting it on and see how it, you gotta make sure that it is, there we go. And I don't want any wrinkles in the base when the candles are in it, lighting up. Check this one out. I think I want pumpkin patch because between for fall I'm doing a pumpkin patch theme and for Halloween we are doing a hocus pocus theme. I'm just ripping this off right here. Okay, so the next one. I'm going to do is the pumpkin patch. Put it right by the scarecrow. There we go. And then I'm going to take some of these little shape, funny shaped pumpkins. And I really hate when the cardboard comes up with these. No nails. Things. You gotta fight with this thing until it comes up. And it makes me aggravate because you want it, there we go, and it just don't let them off that cardboard. And I'm gonna put one on the side like that. I am gonna take this real pretty Sunflower um, 
at the bottom here so I can get it. There we go. And I think that would look very pretty at here on top. There we go. And then I really do like this wagon here. It's full of the pumpkins. And I got plans for sunflowers. And I'm going to take it from one end, or is it going to run right into our scarecrow? Let me see. Or a scarecrow, there we go, above the wagon. Alright, and I think up here I am going to put harvest no giving thanks. Harvest blessing right over the wagon. I don't know if that's too much on this. But like I said, I'm doing this for the kids. Um, this is my podge, and I can't believe I literally just do that. My cell on my camera. Not the camera you guys are on, the camera that I'm trying to figure out how to work it so I can stop using my phone and use my camera more. But right now we're just trying to figure out how to work it. And because of these pieces being bigger, I am um, sticking my hands in the jar to um, spread out the Mod Podge. I'm sorry, I cannot do two things at, at once. My mom always told me I couldn't chew gum and walk at the same time. And my girls tell me that all the time. But literally, do they know they can't walk and chew gum either? They're both just like me. Poor kids. Okay, so this is our final. And I really don't want to stick the mop odge. Um. Um, my podge on my table. Um, so, I hope you love the DIYs that I created. Um, it wasn't nothing fancy, but it's a start on our fall decor and still working on our kitchen makeover and our entryway thankful and blessed pill with the pretty florals flowers in it from the flower tree and our pumpkin cage and our pretty vases so i want to thank you and i want you to share this video out for me give me a big thumbs up and hit that bell and you get notifications of any videos I upload. Which I'm hoping to get a couple more DIYs out to you this week. At least one more. Okay, so bye now.